So I think that was a very interesting study. It was the first phase three study in the first line setting, comparing immunotherapy to the standard of care sorafenib. Unfortunately, the study was negative, so there was no significant improvement in median overall survival. Nevertheless, it was a very interesting study because we did see, actually in both arms, a very long survival, much longer than we have ever seen in phase three study in HCC. With nivolumab, it was more than 16 months, and also with sorafenib, we saw a median overall survival of more than 14 months, which is really impressive, and of course you wonder why. Are we treating a different patient population today? I don't think so. When we look at the baseline characteristics, it's very similar to the data we have seen in the REFLECT study, study and even in the SHARP study more than 10 years ago. So it's the same patient population, but still overall survival increased. And one of the main reasons for that is most likely the quantity and the quality of second-line therapy in HCC. So this has contributed to the longer overall survival. So I think probably all statistical assumptions will not be able to met anymore. And with that, there was no significant survival benefit. And I think the most difficult question is how can we proceed from here? Because we had an approval for nivolumab and pembrolizumab in the second-line setting. But we have two negative studies in the first line and in the second line setting. Does it mean these drugs are not active? I don't think so. I think there is clinically activity, but on the other hand, we cannot read or we cannot talk a negative study in a positive study. Yeah? So it's a kind of a dilemma and we really need to decide how can we proceed from here. What is very clear that there's a subpopulation of patients that does have a benefit. Yeah? So we have a response rate around 20% and some of these patients have really long-term survival, deep responses, complete responses, and they are doing extremely well. And additionally, both with NIVO and in PEMRO in first and second line, quality of life and side effect profile was extremely good. Yeah? So if you take the overall package for both drugs in the first line and second line setting, it looks good. Yeah? But still, these are negative trials, and therefore, I think we really need to find a way now how to proceed. And one way is to leave things as they are, so still continue to use maybe these drugs in second and third line setting, and basically wait for the next coming trials, which are basically interesting combination trials, and also some studies that look at the efficacy of immunotherapy, but with a non-inferiority design. And I think one of these drugs most likely will be positive and will offer us the opportunity to get really worldwide reimbursement for these drugs in HCC.